Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 55 of our trek, and as we consume these daily nuggets of wisdom, we need to apply that wisdom to know and understand ourselves better. As we looked at yesterday, the proper management of stress, not the stress itself, is paramount. As we grow in wisdom, we will learn the lessons needed to manage our stress proactively before it causes illness or death. Today, we'll learn how to move from stress to success. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio today. We are getting ready for our large yard sale, which will be on the same day as this podcast is originally released. My plans for today was to actively assist in organizing and preparation, but during the day I was not able to do so. Instead, the software technical support that I provide for one of our clients filled the entire day. I am very thankful that I have these skills and opportunity to be utilized in this manner, but as we learned yesterday, when our expectations and plans are stifled, generally it results in one outcome. The result? Stress. Stress is a normal part of our contemporary busy lifestyles. We all have our share of it. Ignore it and it will take years off your life. Accept it and deal with it creatively and you can turn your stress into success. So you might ask, how can I do this? Well, first, realize that some stress is actually helpful. It provides you motivation. For instance, if it weren't for the stress of having to pay your bills, you might not want to go to work. Second, beware that stress is only troublesome if it continues for too long a time or if it's too much at one time. I recently read about a 10-ton bridge that had been serving a community very well for over 50 years. During the course of those years, it had carried millions of tons of weight. But one day, a driver of a logging truck ignored the 10-ton road limit sign, and the bridge collapsed. And life is like that. All of us can carry our 10-ton load day after day, year after year, but only one load at a time. Overload us, and we will collapse too. You may be familiar with research Thomas Holmes has done on stress. He found that too much change at one time was the greatest cause of stress. An accumulation of 300 or more life-changing points may mean an overload of more stresses than an individual can carry. On a scale, death of a spouse equals 100 units, divorce 73, marital separation 65, marriage 50, and so on. Now, if you want to take this stress test for yourself, I do have a link to it on day 55 of our journal and also on our free resources page at wisdom-trek.com. Please check it out. The third point, the next step in turning stress into success is to recognize symptoms as early as possible. As I mentioned in yesterday's Wisdom Trek, Fred Stransberry talks about stress-related diseases such as cancer, arthritis, heart and respiratory diseases, migraines, allergies, and a host of other psychological and physiological dysfunctions which are increasing at an alarming rate in our Western culture. Other systems of stress have been listed as fibromyalgia, tense muscles, sore neck, shoulders, and back, insomnia, fatigue, boredom, depression, listlessness, dullness, lack of interest, drinking too much, eating too much or too little, diarrhea, cramps, flatulence, constipation, palpitations or heart skips, phobias, twitches, restlessness, and itching. That sounds like the side effects of most of our modern medicine today. The fourth point is to identify causes. As already mentioned, change is one of the chief causes of stress, and accumulation of life's everyday annoyances can build up also and cause us a significant stress level, perhaps even more than a single traumatic event. As the old saying puts it, it's the little things that bother us that put us on the rack. You can sit upon a mountain, but you can't sit upon a tack. Whatever the causes of your stress is, identify it so that you can do something about it. Our fifth point is to seek out a particular cure. Now, on this point, I'll expand a little bit from our list from yesterday and provide you with 10 ways to turn stress into success. Number one, the starting point to turn stress into success is to lessen your load. 80% of the cure can come out from writing down all your cares and responsibilities in the order of priorities and then eliminating the least important. Number two, remember that you're not Superman or Superwoman and they only exist in the comics and films. Everyone has a breaking point, so recognize yours and call a halt before you reach that limit. Number three, with stress comes pent up feelings. Get them off your chest by sharing them with a trusted friend or counselor. This brings immediate relief and helps us to think and plan more objectively. Number four, stop fighting situations that can't be changed. As one father told his impatient teenager, if you would only realize and accept the fact that life is a struggle, things would go so much easier for you. Learning to live with and get on top of your struggles 
is what helps us to grow and mature. Number five, try to avoid making too many major life changes during the course of a single year. Number six, remember that you're not Superman or Superwoman and they only exist in the comics and films. Yes, this is repeated and for good reason. Number seven, if you hold resentment toward another person, resolve your differences right away. As Ephesians 4 verses 26 and 27 puts it, and don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. For anger gives a foothold to the devil. Number eight, make time for rest and relaxation. Learn to come apart and rest a while before you come apart completely. Number nine, watch your diet and eating habits. Under stress, we tend to overeat, especially junk food, which increases our stress. A balanced diet of proteins, vitamins, and fiber, eliminating white sugar, too much caffeine, too much fat and carbs, alcohol and nicotine is essential for lowering stress and its effects. And then number 10, be sure to get plenty of physical exercise. This keeps you healthier and helps you to burn excess adrenaline caused by stress and its accompanying anxiety. And our final point is, the ultimate answer to turning stress into success is to learn to trust God and to live in harmony with His will for your daily life. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 says it this way, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all that He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. God's peace comes from accepting and trusting to God those circumstances which can't be changed, however difficult that may be for you. Perhaps this is what Christ meant when he spoke of us of taking up our cross daily and following him. Certainly he fully accepted his cross and trusted his situation to God and thereby was totally vindicated. Jesus summed up how to turn stress into success in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and carry a heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give is light. Well, that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of our previous podcasts, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow we will look at a cowboy's guide to life. So please join us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, creating a legacy. And if you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, these nuggets that we consume, I encourage you to help us in the following five ways. Leave us your name and address on our website at the bottom right hand corner of any page or on today's journal page. This will allow us to update you with special information about Wisdom Trek. Leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. Please subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher. Please leave us a rating so that we can gain more exposure for Wisdom Trek and reach more people. And share with your family and friends to join us on our Wisdom Trek each day. The journal for this podcast and the stress test that I mentioned earlier can be found at wisdom-trek.com where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, Learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.